That's Martin. I'm Zach. And this is Zach and Martin at the Movies, episode five? Five. 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 This is five. No, no theme song this time? Theme song, theme song, jiggity jig. Ooh, you got a jiggity jig theme song. Yeah, there you go. Jiggity jig. So, today we're talking about, well, for this episode, yeah. we're talking about one movie. Only one. Only so for one. you, the, so for those of you who are getting sick of the twenty to thirty minute video, it's okay. We got another one coming probably today yet. Yeah, but this one isn't gonna be thirty minutes. Oh, it might be. Martin, if it goes to thirty minutes about talking about one movie, I'm gonna hit you in the head. True. I have no plans of making it go thirty minutes talking about one movie, but we like to ramble now and get now and get now and again. I could talk. I could learn to talk. 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 Anyway, I think we should take a second take of this. No. No? We can cut it if we really we can. want to. Okay, all right, all right, all right, fine. So, for Martin Zach at the movies today, we're talking about Lincoln. The movie. Not the movie. The not, the, not the, well, maybe a little bit about the president. Well, it's about the president, it but I'm saying president. not talking about the president, we're, talking about the movie. Yeah, we're talking about the movie Lincoln. It just came out. It's the new Steven Spielberg film. And not the vampire one. Not the vampire one. The vampire one, you're going to have to go to episode two to hear us talk about that one. Yeah. Yeah. Good movie, though. We like the vampire one. That's true. We also like this one, surprisingly enough. It was great. Okay, so I thought I was going to be bored because it's about Lincoln. It looked kind of documentary-ish. Like, it's just going to talk about Lincoln with some famous people in it. <laughs> but... Like so many biopics? Yeah. But um, it was actually a really interesting movie. It, it focused more on the, uh, the 13th Amendment mm-hmm. and what he had to do to get that passed and all the stuff they had to go through and stuff. Yeah, it was one instead of, the, of just his whole his whole life. Yeah, it was one of those movies like you felt at times like, man, I should be bored. And but I'm almost, not. Yeah, they're all seeing but I'm not bored. Why am I not bored? I should be bored. It actually is a really gripping movie. It's two and a half hours, but it's a really gripping two and a half hours. My biggest problem with this entire movie was, I was absolutely gonna, I was gonna get up to that. Nothing about the movie itself. Um, he might actually have a problem with the movie. My biggest problem was the theater we saw it in. We saw it in a theater where literally the screen was scaffolded up. Oh, oh that's not what I thought you were going to talk about. Oh, wow, anyway, for once we weren't on the same track. Yeah, the theater was scaffolded up, and the screen was... If you took a projector screen, put it in a wall, and just filled up the entire wall, that's about as big as this screen was. A normal size wall. A normal like size wall. House. So it wasn't like... An, it didn't feel like a normal movie theater screen or even just the way it was framed out it just felt weird and i could never get over that while i was watching the movie i thought you were going to talk about joseph gordon levitt oh yeah joseph gordon levitt's completely useless in that movie he's in the movie and all he does is come in lincoln's son comes in says basically spoilers in case you didn't know lincoln's life or his son's life or his son's life he comes in and he basically says I'm out of college, or I'm out of college, and I want to join the army mm-hmm. or whatever. His mom says no, and then he's gone for the rest of the movie. And then he comes in and he's like, "I'm going to the army, and there's nothing you can do about it." And then he's gone again, and then he's he's in the movie for like five minutes at the end, and doesn't say anything in those doesn't, five minutes. Doesn't say anything. Um, the best way to is to talk about it is like how we talked about uh, Bruce Willis and Looper. Yeah. Except none of the good parts. He's really only in there in this entire two and a half hour movie for maybe twenty minutes. Yeah. Spread out over the entire two and a half hours. It's like really weird. It is. It's really weird. And um Yeah, that was that was a little aggravating actually, because like you see all these stars in this movie, and Joseph Gordon Levitt is now actually a pretty sizable yeah. star. And he's got like the smallest role out of all he of them. He pulled the Bruce Willis. He did, he pulled the Bruce Willis. He got a nice paycheck and didn't really have to do anything. Anyway, um, but one of the things that <laughs> I liked. I think I figured this one out. Yeah, one of the things that I liked was um, the fact that Lincoln told stories a lot, but it was always when somebody asked him a question. Yeah. It was never like, I'm going to sit down and this is Abe Lincoln story time. Mm -hmm. It was always like somebody would say like, why why are you doing this? And then he'd tell a story. And that was 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 just his way of handling it. It's like, why are are you trying so hard to get this... uh, Amendment passed, and then he'd go into this like five minute story about had nothing really to do with it. it didn't answer the question. It was a great they were great, they were great stories. Great though. stories. Also, also, I really like the fact that in the movie he basically the the whole plot of this movie is him trying to get thirteenth amendment the thirteenth amendment passed, and at one point, I mean, he does it through the whole movie, but at one point he basically says, "Look, I'm gonna get this passed," 
and you can either help me or you can go over there and I'll get it passed myself. Yeah, and you watch this movie and, uh, spoiler, the 13th Amendment passes. <laughs> In case you weren't aware. In case you didn't know the 13th Amendment exists, um, it does pass. <laughs> And it's one of those moments that if, like, this happened in real Congress Mm -hmm. nowadays, i totally watch C-SPAN. And it's all of these guys, and you have people who they're trying to persuade uh, to vote for them because it's a lame duck Congress. If you don't know what a lame duck Congress is, Wikipedia it. I could explain it, but just Wikipedia it. You're giving them homework. I'm giving them homework. I could explain it, but I don't want to. Go ahead. Knowledge you learned from the West Wing. (laughs) Not the White House, the TV show. But, yeah, um, so they're trying to get people who aren't coming back to Congress for another term to vote for them because now they have no reason to vote a party line. They can vote their own will. Yeah. And you just have these people sitting there and, like, they're fighting themselves of what they should do. And <laughs> you just have them all of a sudden just screaming out yeses. And these are people who shouldn't be. They should be against the amendment, and they're saying yes to it because they know it's right. And, and it's, they don't have to worry about it because they're yeah. not getting back in anyway. Yeah, because they're not coming back for another term. So it's... It's a great scene, and then at the end, they're all celebrating and singing, and you never see this in politics and anymore. See, and, yeah, and you see, you know, people hoisting them up and kind yeah. of pushing them around. That was great. Um, it was. It was an amazing moment. You're sitting there, I'm really, and you're really, like, it's kind of like Argo, when I mentioned that I looked over at Zach during Argo and said, I know how this movie yeah. ends, but I'm still really interested in what's going on. Lincoln's the exact same way. You know how it ends. Yeah. But you're still really there's interested. There's nothing, in- there's nothing, like... Main plot wise, that that should surprise you. Yeah, but I mean, there's little things. There are like, little things like um, I can't tell him stories. Yeah, and a lot of people didn't know how much work yeah. it was to get the Thirteenth Amendment passed. They just went Emancipation Proclamation. So Bam. the beginning of the movie, Lincoln essentially admits that the Emancipation Proclamation could be incredibly illegal. Yeah, <laughs> which is just a great moment. Yeah, it's just in a roundabout way. In a roundabout Lincoln actually way. admits it. <laughs> He, so he goes all the way around it, and then you're sitting there going, Is it? Is it? Is it? Really? Wow. Is it? Mm. Mm. This is the way he's talking about it, essentially going, Well, I don't say, I don't think slaver, slaves are property, but essentially I call them property in this thing I wrote up, <laughs> which is only a thing of war, so once the war is over, technically the property is to be returned, <laughs> but I don't think they're property. <laughs> it was so, way long. It's like, it's like a five minute of him literally just going all the way around mm-hmm. and then coming back to... Well, this is in, a, in the room full of his advisors. Yeah, and it's all of his advisors, and it's it's a great scene. It's a great way to start off this movie. Great actors. Daniel Day-Lewis does an amazing Lincoln. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones is fantastic. Hilarious. He's hilarious he is. in this movie. He is hilarious in this movie. James Spader is really good in it. Um, I can't think. All three of the guys. Um, Lincoln brings in three, essentially, Washington pounds to... Bring up these votes, yeah. these Democratic votes that they need to do whatever they can yeah, to, to get them to vote. Offer cabinet position, pretty much anything they can. All three of them are actors you recognize. James Spader is the only one whose name I've got at this exact moment, but they're all just amazing. Um, so that that scene is funny. There's a scene where you don't really hear them talking much, but it's them going around to s- specific members and trying to and like doing certain things to get yeah. them to, it to look really at the fun. stuff it's like a montage it's really funny it is it's a good montage also the first time they meet lincoln is a great moment um too. i love the part where they say we're not supposed to talk about you we're not even supposed to carry around lincoln used to be on the five cent piece we're not even supposed to carry around five cent pieces because they have your face on it um but yeah, it's a great movie. Highly recommend this movie. Yeah. Um, as we said in our uh, wish list video, this is a compromise movie. Zach went and saw yeah. in exchange for Red Dodd, which now he's really hoping is going to be good. Yeah, I looked to I looked to him after the movie when the movie got done. I looked to him and I went, man, I really hope that Red Dawn doesn't suck. Because if your movie's the one that's better, I'm going to be really mad. Yeah, because at this point, either he can tie and both movies are good, or Lincoln will be good and yeah. Red Dawn's going to suck. So, um, speaking of that. We are going to do Red Dawn and Rise of the Guardians coming up. We're seeing yeah. both of those tomorrow, tomorrow, which is the day before Thanksgiving. Um, we've and got then, the second half of the top ten, which we're probably going to do later today yet. Might yeah. not be up right away, but we're going to yeah, do that. Yeah, it'll be later. Um, one bit of news from the wish list. The um, movie Hitchcock I was gonna do, I was gonna say that. has been pushed to a limited release this weekend, yeah. and it's not actually coming out to a full release until January. So that's now a 2012 movie. Or, I'm sorry, 2013. 13. These are 2012. Yeah, this is now, it's now a 2013 movie yeah. because its actual release isn't until 2013. But that's okay, though, because it was on our wish list anyway. So yeah, it's on I our mean, wish list, so... So, I mean, 
as long as it just comes out. Yeah. So, okay. It's And it will. It'll come out, and we're going to see it when it comes out. That's still high yeah. on that list. But, yeah, Lincoln, go see it. Yeah. We might throw up some other videos in between oh, yeah, the, end of our, the, the end of our top ten and Hitchcock. Yeah, yeah there would definitely sure be more videos. Yeah, sure we can't imagine. Yeah. We wouldn't shoot more videos. We've already proven with... Uh, our favorites are, are going to be... Oh, yeah, our favorites are going to be in there. We already proved with episode four that uh, we don't need to cover current movies, so... Ever. Ever. We can go back to any point of time we like. We, we have a time machine. <laughs> we have a time machine. <laughs> Which movie would you like us to go back to? Hey, and you know what? If you got a movie you think we should watch or review, if we've actually already seen it, hit us up with a comment at the bottom of this. As long as it's not too ridiculously outrageous, like we- Hannah Montana or SpongeBob SquarePants... We might take a look at it, and we might give it a yeah. good review. Or a bad review, Sponge, if it sucks. SpongeBob's not going to happen. No, SpongeBob is not getting launched. We could do a, a review of the Chronicles of Jersey Shore, the the Kevin Smith Chronicles. Um, <laughs> that would be fun. Oh, yeah. The View Skewerverse? Yeah. Well, that would be interesting. That was what I was trying to think of. But yeah, so... Lincoln, go see it. We'll hit you up with some more videos in the very near future. Yeah. Martin... Zach, and we'll catch you later. Actually, at the movies this time, Zach's running the camera, so he's not gonna talk. Haha. <laughs> so we're about to go see Lincoln. I don't know if this is actually gonna make it into a video or not. But we're gonna go see Lincoln now. We'll uh, let you know what we think of it. But yeah, this is the actual movie theater. Movie theater. Movie theater. We're gonna go see Lincoln. Woo! So we're gonna go see Lincoln, and we're gonna tell you about it later. So I'm, I'm Martin. Zach's behind the camera. I'm Zach. We are at the movies. At the movies.